Hi guys, she's only here. Well, I am back with um, this piece. I gave you a sneak peek the other day. And um, I, I've done a few things behind the scenes since I last saw you. So I've um, stitched the border and I made this 10 by 10 and I've started stitching around here. So that's why I wanted to have that down so that I could stitch that on there. And I've stitched this down, grab that too, and stitched in the ditch, which you could probably see here. So that's that's being um, quilted. So that's the other side of the little pouchy bag. And then this, I made it a little bit bigger. That's gonna be for the inside of the bag. So I quite like this. And then I cut um, these, which are the strips. I might move that out the way for a sec. Now I'm gonna grab my tape measure. Originally had cut it two inches, but um, I'll just cut this straight. Um, it was too wide. And then I, was going to make these 30 centimetres, I mean 30 inches. Uh, maybe I might as well do 35. That way you've only got a little bit left. Get an extra long. So oh, that's one. Make this straight. Okay. Do this by 35. This I'm going to do, oh, there you go. Yeah, this is me when I cut it from two inches to one and a half inches. So, 34, so maybe, <clears throat> maybe I've got to cut this one another inch. Got to have them being the same. Okay, sorry guys. Best way to do it, rather than using the tape measure, is lining them up against each other. That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay. So, what I'm going to do, because on my other bag that I had done, it had slowly over time started to come to bits so I cut out these I might have to cut them shorter because this is what I've got now I cut out this fabric and what I wanted to do was fold it in half actually I might get the iron and I'm gonna put the iron on hang tin um, oh, is that in the south? Like that? <laughs> Hang ten, the light just went off. Uh, okay. Good grief. This is the dangerous part of having. Everything, you know, because it's an old an old place and everything's there we go. <laughs> oh the dramas. Okay. Oh seriously. <laughs> Don't do it to me. Stay. Stay. Um Okay, I've got my iron. I want it a little bit warmer. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because it's a uh, an older place and it hasn't got very many many plugs. Could have been worse. It could have been zapped on camera. And uh, you know, it had all this spare footage and oh, I'm laying on the ground unconscious because I've been electrocuted. <laughs> oh, that's classic. Uh, funny now because it didn't happen. Dangerous, dangerous. 
Okay. So what I'm going to do is just get in this now. How wide is this? Just in case you guys were planning on making this. This is, I think about eight inches, seven and a half inches. I just cut the length and then cut it in half. So what I'm gonna do here, it's being folded in half. I'm gonna get my piece like this. And I'm gonna fold it like that. So what I might do is iron that down. This way it gives it a little bit more thickness and it's less likely to fall apart over the years like my other one did because it's got double thickness. Okay, all I'm doing is just giving it a light iron. Okay, now I'll sit down, put this back over here, grab a piece and some pins. So what I'm going to do, so it's going to go like that, and that'll go like that. So, I'm just wondering, I'll just come in and hold it down at this point. The straightest bit of wool. It's all good. You'll see why in a minute. Okay. Yep. Okay. Well, it's not that much um, shorter, so that's good. Then. Come back over, undo that, fold that. So that raw edge is tucked under, and then I'm gonna come back and sew that down. This is why I cut it down to one and a half because, um, yeah, as you can see, two inches would have been a bit too thick. At least if this is not going to um, fall apart in any great hurry and th fray. So what I'm going to do, and that I'll probably show you in the next video because both of these will be put that over. Um, the both of the pieces will be sewn. Okay. Yep. Don't want it too far over. Yeah. Here, then we can go snipperoony and another little piece. So, what I need to do now is I'm going to hop on the see, um, 
the sewing machine and get a red thread probably and stitch down in the middle like that and then probably stitch down either side and so it is being held down so here are the handles of my bag i like it so um i'll do the other one off camera and um then today i will finish doing some stitching and then we've got to put the backing so what we do the reason why i'm not stitching down anything at this point is because we're going to be sewing these two bits together okay so that they'll eventually be together and it's going to be this bag like that and that so um yeah that's why i need to do the stitching and stuff now but at least I've shown you how I do the handle. So how, how long did that end up being? I'll have a look. Probably the original, ow, um, closer to the 30. Yep, because <laughs> that's the, the length of the fabric. Oh, it's really nice, really nice. Okay. So I think this is the colour that I was using. I think, I think, yep. I think, I think. Let me have a look. This is not bad. And I've got threads everywhere. I think I better grab my little old bag and put all my bits, my little threads left over. Now, um, just going to do a quite a bit in this darker blue. So I've gone around, you can see on here, well, I've gone around the house and I did around the um, this in a stem stitch and just around the house and everything I'm doing in a backing stitch. And I'm just highlighting it in a, like a darker colour. So, um... I'm probably just going to go around this, that, and then the tree, the tree, the tree. I think it might even be that colour. What have we got here? Or oh, that colour? No. I'm not sure whether that's the right green. We will see. Whether I do it in the wall or I do it in that. I think that's the right green. So these two will be um, what I do around the, the tree, I think. Oh, my goodness. I don't know whether this is going to be big enough. Oh, it is. Oh, that's good. I'll try not to have too much, especially because it's Appleton. And it's probably more than I need, but I've um, got to be careful. Move my stuff out of the way, get my table. Do a knot. And stitch away. Okay. So this is where I was up to. Just going to continue on here. At least the light's staying on. That's good. Oh, there's a message of some sort. Actually, I might take out the, the iron and put in my phone. It's low on charge. Sorry guys, I'm still here. Goodness. Yep, is it still going? Oh my goodness. No. Sorry guys. There we go. Still here. 
My phone's needing charging. I'm needing to leave it on because I'm expecting phone calls when you're selling your house. You're always in touch with your agent and your bank and your, um, you know, and then you're looking at other houses too. We're wanting to look at another house. Um, you know, you sort of just can't really do anything too much until you've sold your own house. But... Not winning. Comic, a comic. Was it a, a set of comical errors today? Yeah, way too long. This thing. So. Yeah. So just a simple backing stitch. I've um. Went on. I hadn't been on the Stitch Vintage Treasures Facebook page. Oh, that's a mouthful. The, um, for I'll just call it Vintage Treasures. Easier <laughs> um, for a while, and um, I thought I better go and have a look. Um, you know, because I'm encouraging people to go onto it, and the link for it is below. That's it's a Facebook page that Corinne and I. Um, uh, put together and Tia is helping out with um, Tia from Calm Creations is helping out with admin and I've got the link to the, um, the Facebook page um, in my description below so in every video it's just automatically linked so if you want to join you just got to answer a couple of questions if you don't you know um, you don't always get um, get in only because we have to be really careful we don't you know you don't want dodgy people on there and if you don't answer the questions and they're only simple questions what's your favorite stitch where you're from and um, you know I think there's another one so um, yeah just so that we you know that you're not a robot or whatever it is or that you know you're a legit slow stitcher and not someone that's just trying to get on there to sell on something so but um yeah I've been noticing some of the ladies um panels and some of the the calendar and botanical beauties they're all it's beautiful work beautiful work girls fabulous don't always get on there um a heck of a lot but um, you know, I do look through them and what I do see is pretty good and I like how everyone's being nice and kind and encouraging to each other, which is good. It's always nice to see, you know, not too many tough rules on this Facebook page, which is what we want, but just making sure that you respect one another and don't go on a rant and, you know, whatnot. That's all we ask now. Okay, I'll come up. I'll come up and across. And then go down. And start here. Yeah, so I um, really enjoyed looking at some of the, um, especially some of the panels, you know, because it's my baby and um, I've sold quite a few. At this point, how many have I got left? I think I might have any nine panels left. Um, yeah, so if you were contemplating getting one, I would get one because they're... Um, running out and I won't be getting any more in for a while uh, because I've only just purchased the um, the panels for next year so that I can um, put you know put aside 
the panels for the ladies that are going to go on the retreat and then I've got all also once I get the panels I will show them they won't be done and then I will um, send one over or I'll take one over with me when I go into in June to Corinne and she can have one to do we might even start it while I'm up there actually because I'll take my iPad with me and Maybe we can start filming some of the process of doing it. Um, and I might, my sister really loves it. So um, she's going to do one too. Not only is she a painter that does this fabulous folk art, which she's so good at, um, she's also a stitcher. So um, I'll be getting her to stitch one for me. She hasn't got a channel or anything, but you will see... Um, the finished product at the retreat or I'll show it on um, my channel once it's done um, yeah so you'll be seeing some of the process of what it looks like but I will this time round I will film because I've got a little bit more time whereas last for the last panel I didn't have as much time and I didn't film the um, the full piece but I am filming these pieces so you'll get me to you'll see me stitching it um, which works in okay because I'm stitching along with you guys on on the channel and still with the girls from the retreat as well because it does take a bit of time I'm amazed at how fast some of them have gone they must be just really getting into it so Yes, super excited, super excited about next year. Okay. Always got to have something to look forward to, eh? Now, it just makes such a difference. I was thinking I might do some red, but I'll push the red back just by doing blue all the way around. And I may do... Um, darker handles but they may be blue or I might do them darker we'll see how we go with a wall it gets done pretty quick if you did this with um, Wonderfill or DMC it would be just as quick too but I like the thickness of the wall okay go across okay. oh, I need a drink in here all this yapping makes you thirsty hmm well next um, next week I'll be doing some finishing off some projects I need to work on my um, stitch the seasons. It's terrible. I haven't even finished summer and I haven't even started autumn, which is shocking. I'm sorry, Corinne. So, um, but I do want to. I'm, I really like the autumn piece and, you know, it's got a little squirrel and everything. So I might start on the autumn and just finish off the summer in the background I'll show you where I'm at with it actually I might work is that down too low might be see how we go yeah I'm just wondering whether I even get if I can get underneath there because I've got I've got that there we go I could swing it underneath and then go like this there we go
Gee, it's amazing how quick you use this thread. This was huge. Okay. Have it down underneath, come up through here and go down and I'll finish that off. At least, see, this is why um, I'm doing the stitching with the um, the wadding or the batting underneath because I've stitched it down on the outside with the, um, oh, seriously, um, the other one. I'll just, this is obviously looped up, so I will cut that. And knot it. And sometimes you just pay to look at your work at the back. Okay. Now. While well, I'm here, I might change it up a little bit and do do the green okay and then we'll just do this in wonderful because it's a good color it's more of that sort of um, you know earthy tone color okay and I'm probably gonna do which I will probably have to do off camera Maybe in with one of my, so I'm going to do a couple of French knots and bits and pieces down here just to give it a bit of a garden. I noticed um, in the, you know, the Vintage Treasures Facebook page um, that Willie had finished the top half of her panel and she'd done all the little, little garden and everything in there. Look really cute. So, um... There we go. I'm not going to stitch that because I like that it's sort of in the background. I may, actually, I'm going to do a stem stitch because I want it to be thicker. Okay, so start it off this way. I'll probably I might take this bag with me when I go to the next retreat so you can see it I don't mind this one because it's going to be it's a practical a practical piece same with my um you know the top top row of houses still got to get myself um, some of the walnut shells and apparently I heard from Corinne you can get them from pet shop um, because I think when you buy lizards or whatever they, they like to lay on it so I'm just wondering if it that would be cheaper I'd say there you go, ladies. Local pet shop. Or you can, you know, I'm sure there'd be some place online you'd be able to get walnut shells cheap. Or cheaper than what you would pay anywhere else anyway. See how having a satin stitch, not sat a stem stitch is thicker. And because this is a fairly thickish line, Um, you need it to be a bit thicker. Yeah, that's good. I'm so glad I 
um, made these panels so much easier just to stitch away at these panels and have to do all this tracing. Don't mind so much with the um, the calendar because it's only a small small piece, but when you're making something this size, so much better when you've got a panel that's already done for you. It's twisting. I will just let it hang. Okay. And um, yeah, gets done pretty quickly. Really like satin. Not keep calling satin and stem stitch. Always mix them up. Shock it. I know they are different in my head, but it's just because they're both S's. It's a bit like um, fly stitch and feather stitch. They're different stitches, but I'm always calling them. I'm not the only one. I know that um, Corinne does and Rachel does. <laughs> okay. Good. So hopefully I am sitting here stitching with you whenever you're watching this in the morning or in the evening. It's always nice to have someone to stitch along with. Even though I am talking to myself, <laughs> um, you know, I know that I've got people stitching along with me. Um, when I did my um craft group like i've just started this craft group and my sister yoka came along and i'm saying so, i'm like yep these crafty people they you know we tend to talk to ourselves and one of the other ladies noticed that you know here's me and yoka because we're sister the two sisters are talking to themselves because <laughs> you sort of you know, oh, yeah, I've got to do this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just so used to talking while I'm stitching because I've got a YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, but that's just how creative people are. Sit and yap. Okay. So I'll use this. You could probably even do, just doing a straight stitch in here. Um, you know, a couple of little flowers in here, but I'll just sort of, with the tiny little bit that I got left, stitch some of this green down. Dog is away. Not quite enough. I'll have to get some more. Oh well. Oh. Um, now it came out. Okay. When it gets that short, this is what you do. Might do a double. How are we doing for time, people? Not oh, 34 minutes. There we go. I like it. Yeah, gee, it really stands out, don't you? You can really see the difference, how it really looks. I'll probably get a variegated thread and do a couple of French knots on there. I like it. I mean, that's why I've done, like I did this on the bottom, so it almost looks like a garden. And then with the little birdies, on the top because you know the birdies are up higher so yeah i quite like it 
I'll probably do um, the black. Probably do a couple of. Uh, that ain't working. You know, like like along here, just on there, just to tie it in. Um, well, I'll just sit behind the scenes and do a little bit more stitching. Okay. And find a, a nice variegated thread. I think that would be nice. And then um, with maybe some wool, um, fill it in with green afterwards. So I'll just sort of randomly do some French knots. Okay, what I'm doing for this, once again, I'll do steam stitch. Fill it in, give it some depth. And it's so nice and easy and relaxing to sew with the um the batting in the in the back okay okay guys well thank you very much for watching and i hope you're still working on your pieces and don't forget to put them on the facebook page because i'm enjoying looking at your um your houses and even some of them who haven't got the panel and they said well not a village but a house and i'm like yep yeah, that's it you can you know you can create your own bits and pieces. Okay, guys. Well, I will catch you uh, later and you will see the finished part of this at, by the end of April because um, it is, you know, the Roxy's Journal of Stitchery bag after all. So, um, yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.